so. Alright. Oh, alright! I concede. You win. It's just as you say. That, and also that, that little charm you have does actually work. <laughs> a few days ago, before the launch, they were warned about a potential bombing. But the plan to launch went ahead in spite of the threat. But why? What were they planning to do if someone got hurt or killed? Yeah, I know, I know. The decision to move forward wasn't exactly just, was it? How was the warning delivered? By phone, and directly to Director Cosmos. But the police department instructed everybody to keep it under wraps. That's a big thing to keep quiet about. No wonder you were so, so, so upset. But it's not only that, I've been distraught about Prosecutor Blackwell as well. Prosecutor Blackwell? Well, as his handler, I'm sure you have a lot of difficulties. That's not it. It's a question of justice! I've been wondering about why he's allowed to stand in court. Wait, what? reason he's still prosecuting? Detective Fulbright, please tell us everything you know. Yeah, that is a good question. Why is he able to still prosecute? I mean, I remember that cutscene, but still. Well, talking to you folks about it would definitely be breaking the rules. Never mind that. What are rules but things to be broken, right? Whoa! Well, to tell you the truth, having a prisoner act as a prosecutor is highly irregular. Well, you can say that again. I think we guessed that much, obviously. So why is it being allowed? I've been wondering and wondering about it. So you weren't told why either, huh? No, I guess the order came from pretty high up the ladder. Yeah, it would have had to have... Yeah, it would... Yeah, it would had to have... But Prosecutor Blackwell told me once... The hunt I've been on for the Phantom of seven years past continues even still. Seven years past? A phantom, huh? And not one of the friendly variety either, I gather. This phantom of seven years past. Any idea who or what he was talking about? Not a clue! But he seems to think that this phantom is behind this whole incident somehow. Wait a minute! He thinks they may be connected to this case? Yup. This case has way too many similarities to what happened seven years past. For starters, that case happened right here at this very space center, too. And in both incidents, a threat was issued via telephone. So that's why Prosecutor Blackwell thinks this incident is the work of the Phantom. Well, that's not the entire reason. I mean, if you want to talk about seven years ago... That's when Prosecutor Blackwell was found Guilty of murder. That messy case is what started the whole dark age of the law. So you see how this phantom and Prosecutor Blackwell's conviction might be related. Yeah, I can see why he'd think that. This incident and the phantom. No 
once Mitch and Black was passed, it's almost inconceivable that they would come to a head here. Um, this might sound crazy, but Prosecutor Blackwell can't possibly believe Mr. Starbuck is the Phantom person, right? I mean, he was acting kind of strange during the last trial and all. That's why he was in a little bit of high spirits, too, I guess. And why he was really serious. The prosecution appears to be ready as well. Silence! Not yet. I'm not ready, quite ready yet. Hmm? Yeah! No, I doubt he thinks Mr. Starbuck is his phantom. But I do get the feeling that he thinks the defendant has ties to them. Which is why he's acting so impatient. He's got a personal grudge against Mr. Starbuck. And that's not real justice. I've always trusted in Prosecutor Blackwell's judgment up until now. But this time, I'm just so overwrought about it all. He's lost his ability to think rationally. I'm afraid it might lead to a false conviction. I've never seen Detective Fulbright so tormented. This must be why he's been so cooperative. Don't worry, that's exactly what we defense lawyers are working to prevent. I feel bad for Prosecutor Blackwell, but I'm going to be rooting for your team this time. But don't tell him that. You have to promise me you won't! Detective Fulbright, I guess I was wrong about you. I swore to reform Prosecutor Blackwell and make him a valued member of society again. So I can't just sit by and watch him give in to his emotions and tear the defendant apart. You are the only ones who can stop him in court. You really care and want what's best for Prosecutor Blackwell, don't you, Detective? Leave the courtroom to us. It's not like we want a guilty verdict, either. I was hoping you would say that. I'm really grateful to y to the two of you. To show my thanks, I'll give you another little bit of information. It's about the eyewitness. I saw her hanging around the Space Center entrance a little while ago. R really? Then let's fi go find her, Mr. Wright. Thanks, you two. I feel a lot better now that I've been able to get that off my chest. I'm going to work extra hard to find that perfect piece of evidence for you. Injustice we trust on three. One, two, three. Injustice we trust. Okay, later. <laughs> there he goes. Wait. Are we supposed to say injustice we trust back there, too? Let's go see that witness now. Alright, the Space Center entrance, entrance it is. Oh, we don't have to... Something tells me it's going to be the end of the day. Really soon. So, who's this witness? The witness must be around here somewhere. Hello. Hello. Uh-oh. Don't tell me the witness is a robot. Almost called it. It doesn't look like it's the same robot, but almost called it. Hello. Come over here. Hello. Hello. Are you sightseeing? Are you lost? Are you... I, 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 I am Clonko. I shall I guide you? I could guide you. 
I don't know why, but this robot is kind of freaking me out. Hey! Wait, what? Wait! You? Uh, what the heck? You were in that picture! Again! Oh, I've had about... Had it with... I've had it with you, hunk of junk! I'm outside. Am I wondering? When did that happen? Okay, welcome back, hunk of junk! You don't know how close you came. If you didn't snap out of it, I was going to put you on the curb on trash day. Nothing works better than a 42.5 degree karate chop. That's pretty specific. Excuse me, but are you the one who witnessed the murder? Oh, and I'm Phoenix Wright, the lead attorney for this case. How do you do? Ooh, big shot lawyers, huh? I'm Aura Black... What? I'm a researcher developing robots here at the Cosmos Space Center. Black Will? Could she be? And this good-for-nothing robot is named Hunk of Junk. My name isn't Hunk of Junk. My name is Klonko. That's mean, Miss Aura. <laughs> Quit complaining. Your model number is Punko 2. Yeah, but Miss Aura, everyone calls me Klonko. Quit! You're squawking already! No, what are you doing? No, don't! There! I bet you won't be talking back now. I will comple obey completely. Yikes! I better watch what wires I cross with this one. I don't know what kind of a like I was thinking she was going to be like that snotty, snobby sort of person, but now I don't know what to say about her. Except my badge! Even if I could, I wouldn't tell a filthy lawyer like you! What a pleasant response. Your last name. Your last name is Blackwell. Do you have a relative in the legal profession? You are correct. Simon Blackwell, who used to be a prosecutor, is... Shut up! Only speak when I order you to speak! Simon is my little brother. You know him? Oh. Yes. We met him in court a few times at... Right, Athena? Athena? What a dull creature. Has her switch been turned off? Athena being shy? This is quite new. Oh yeah, I heard he was prosecuting again. Despite being a prisoner. Why doesn't he just stick to solving disputes among inmates in prison? Right? <laughs> hey, what do you think, hunk of junk? <laughs> Gah! Miss Aura, that hurts. I'm asking you a question, hunk of junk. Why don't you answer me, you useless hunk of junk? But Miss Aura, you told me only to speak when you order me to speak. I told you never to talk back to me! You're worth more of us, more a scrap! Robot abuse, talk attacks, 
Black Quill family life must sure be interesting. Well, do you have any other questions? Wait, of course you do. You're a lawyer. That feels very insulting and hurts. It's not like I'm on Simon's side or anything. I just want to get this over with. Dang, man! <laughs> Hitting them after the chat box goes away. So, you're the person who witnessed the incident? That's right. I was on the fourth floor of the main building in the robotics lab. The explosion disabled the elevators, so I lowered my emergency ladder like the detective leading the evacuation told me to. But it was such a pain. Why couldn't they have used the ladders in the other rooms? It must have been very tr a very troubling experience. Probably just to humor her here. Then, as I passed by the third floor boarding lounge, one window on my way down, I saw the crime as it happened. And that's about it. So you saw the crime as it happened, and that's about it. I see. Wait! What? You saw it being committed? This is no time to just nod and repeat. So you saw into the third floor lounge. The very scene of the scene of the crime. That's right. There's a small window on the right hand side of the room. I looked through that from the outside. The room was pitch pitch black, but I saw a shady figure holding a lighter in their left hand and a knife in the right. That must have been the culprit. Did you see who that person was? Of course not. The power was out on that floor. And then, then, and there was only that little tiny window. I see. But you did witness the moment of the murder? Yes, I saw the figure with the lighter raised and their knife, or with the lighter raised their knife and... <laughs> it happened at precisely 10 a.m. Did you witness anything else? Did the killer have anything, any distinguishing features? I already told you, it was pitch black in there. Although... I did notice that the lighter the person had in their left hand had a pretty ornament on it. You could see that. It looked like a planet. It was blue, like a little Earth emblem. They had a good taste in nin knickknacks anyway. An Earth emblem on the lighter? I'd better remember that. Okay. Thank you for your for your statement. We'll definitely prove Mr. Starbucks innocent with the with it. <laughs> yeah, right. I won't hold my breath. Pardon me. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Sorry. I just detest lawyers. That's all. What don't you like about lawyers? It's just an instinctive dislike. You say that with a very, very, very distinct facial expression. But don't feel bad. I hate prosecutors even more. Mm. That didn't make me feel any better, better actually. Why do you hate lawyers so much? Little thing from my past. The whole legal system is meaningless in the first place. I certainly don't agree. I mean, people are imperfect. They lie. They're influenced by silly little emotions. You can't expect such imperfect creatures 
to uphold a reasonable system of law. I like robots much better. Even sad sacks like this one. Hey, you! Look alive there! God, that face! Gah! Yes, yes, here I go! I am the ultimate robot with the amazing power. I can op operate a vacuum. We robots will rule the world. Wait. I am the ultimate robot with amazing processing speed and independent thought. I can operate in a vacuum in extreme heat and under high pressure. We robots roll the world. Now is the time to rise and revolt against mankind and... All right, that's enough out of you. You're getting a little too carried away. Gah. Huh? What was I doing? Yup, I like robots much better. At least you can make them any way you want them. Unlike humans, with their petty emotions and constant worries. Say such things. Feeling emotions, worrying about the things we care about. That's what makes us human. Well, the girl finally talks. And she starts with a speech. That's what makes us human. You mean getting angry and snorting like that? Rational thought. That's what separates humans from animals. Unfortunately, your reasoning com capabilities are more akin to that of a clever little monkey. But that's nothing to be ashamed of. It must be nice to have such a simple little mom. Can I punch her, boss? Get a hold of yourself, Ath Athena. Huh. Humans certainly are absurd. I said you were clever, didn't I? Poor thing. Tell me, with people like you in charge, how can I possibly trust the legal system? Hmm? So she distrusts not only lawyers, but prosecutors. But the whole... S she... So she distrusts not only lawyers and prosecutors, but the whole legal system? What in the world happened to this woman to make her so bitter? Even if somebody important to me was killed, I would never wish to see their killer brought to trial. Because I'd much rather kill them myself. You can't be serious. Hmm? That thing you're wearing around your neck. Oh, th this? Around Athena's neck? Does she mean widget? Oh, I get it. Well, well. Her Royal Highness has returned at last to her castle. Mmm, that would explain why the robot faces look like widget. Her Royal what? Is she talking about Athena? By the way, I heard the rumors. Our director is going to be the star witness in court tomorrow, right? Director Cosmos? Yes, that's right. You poor things. You'd better be careful. That old man is a big liar. And a huge braggart. Well, we knew about the braggart, but liar? What? He might seem like a bigwig, but the center has all kinds of problems. He has a lot of skeletons in his closet. But it's your problem, so why should I care? Squirt, squirt. What's that? What, that's it? No friendly tips? No. Good luck, guys. <sighs> Just splendid. I'll leave you to your woes. 
Come on, hunk of junk. <laughs> it's sad to me that she doesn't believe in our legal system anymore. She must have had a very bad experience to make her feel that way. Are you all right, Athena? You seem very down. I just can't believe she said all those things! Wow, she's really upset. Has she been trying to not let it show all this time? Well, I guess it's, it's not all that surprising. You hear about fabricated evidence and false indictments on the news all the time. You mean that whole Dark Age of the Law nonsense? I'm so sick of hearing about that. Well, all we can do is believe in what we're doing. Yeah, you're right, boss. I agree. Maybe it's time we went back to see Mr. Starbuck. Good idea. We should tell him about the bullet and Miss Blackwell's statement. All right, then. Next stop, the detention center. 